today's video I'm going to start working on repairing this uh, rust around the, where the convertible top goes. I'm going to start by cutting it out. Um, one thing I am glad I did, I, I, when I took the top off, I left everything together and I did make those marks like it stated in the shop manual. It's all stuff that's necessary for the new top. As far as that uh, tacking strip that goes on here, when I lifted that top a little bit, that stuff just disintegrated and uh, the top lifted right up out of it for you know that far anyway good six eight inches before it seemed to take a grip so hopefully I can get some stuff to replace in there or I'll have to get that I think I got I think Bill sending me the piece that goes in here and uh, the pieces that went there and there are perfect there's nothing wrong with them they're still stapled to the top and the back of the truck I never even attempted to take them off the top and uh, I use uh, Shelby Auto Trim for my upholstery stuff in the past, and they do convertible tops, and they do pretty nice work. And I think I'm going to contact them to see about having them do the top. I just don't want it to look terrible, and I'm going to ask them about if they supply the top or if I need to. I'd rather just have them do everything. Just take the car and say, put a top on it. And... Uh, be done with it. Yeah, it'll probably add a thousand dollars of the cost of the car, but at the end of the day, I think it'll be worth it. I don't want wrinkles or some, you know, I don't want to buy a new top and then screw it up trying to put it on and then have to buy another one. You know, that's that's not my idea of fun. So I've never done a top before. This is all new to me. So, you know, I'm gonna. I think I'm going to pay the professionals to do it, and then when I learn how to do a top, I'm going to do it with a professional there if I ever do one. And, uh, you know, this is the shop manual is only a few pages on how to do this, and it's kind of, you know, very basic information. And uh, I'm doing the top enough to where I could get it off and probably put it on if I absolutely had to, but I think I'm going to just have it done by the pros and be done with it and uh, in the meantime I can get that all cleaned and painted and, uh, and then when I take the car to them and they can just put the top on and be done with but anyway back to the rust issues I'll get to cutting it out thank God for this car that's what's keeping my sanity right now I just come out here I, I just, you know, work on the car all day. There's nothing else I can do. Michigan's under a mandatory um, stay home. Uh, so, yeah, so it's, you know, it's just so quiet out. It's just surreal. And, uh, yeah, it is like a Twilight Zone. And Twilight Zone was on TV last night on one of those off channels when I was editing. And I was like, oh, my God living in a twilight zone don't need to watch twilight zone but anyway let me get to get to cutting this out i talked to the trim shop and they stated that they can replace the tacking in the number four uh rib or bow or whatever you want to call it they can replace that in there they said i will need to get the strip for here they said if they need to replace the stuff in it they can but the metal part i need to get so um, but they can get everything else. The top, they said, bring the car in. They can give me an estimate and order the stuff. And then the following week, they should have it. And we can set up an appointment to have a top, top put on. So about a two-week turnaround from when I'm ready for the top to when the top would be installed, I guess, two or three weeks. No big deal. I mean, the car can sit here in the garage and uh, that can be folded down into the trunk compartment and I can put the the boot on and you know I still have the boot the original boot and it'll look like a you know a car with the top down may have to put something in there to push the boot up <laughs> some cardboard some old boxes or something but anyway I'm not too worried about that right now I'm going to get to the rust and I'll put a link I had the, the people that I'm going to have probably have do the top it'll probably cost me a couple grand to have them do it but at the end of the day, it'd be money well spent. But I'll put a link.
to a video of in their shop they did the Pontiac Catalina seats and uh, I took some video in their shop and I'll put a link in the description of that to that video so this is where I decided to work on the cutting out first and I kind of made a line where I want to cut out here and uh, to right it's going to end right there so almost the full width of the view of the camera is what I'm going to replace and I went with the body hammer and a screwdriver and picked up through to see and I tried around in here and further each side of it and I'm going to cut this out and then I can see and feel in there a little better and decide if I need to cut any more out and if not I'll make a little piece of metal to put in there and weld it in and then we'll move on to the next spot. Another thing I found a nickel when I was cleaning the car out yesterday. It's a 1970D. It's in pretty good shape. It was under the the vinyl thing in the trunk here that the boot sits down into. So I got the piece cut out and I'm going to use this as the template and it looks like to me like that was a lot of surface rust from like a terrarium effect or moisture getting in the panels and then the sun warming the panels and causing the vapors to rise or I think that's I don't know and then uh that's an educated guess it looks like it rusted from this side through and uh, it could be that that just rusted from the water leaking through them, like I say, educated guess. And then this side, this is that heavy steel, and that's just, there's no pits, it's just kind of surface rusted, and I'll sand that up. And then once you get down in there, quarter inch or so, there's no rust on it. And then way down in there. All the wheel wall up and everything's all nice and solid. Quarter panel is solid. You can still see the primer on it. It's all solid all the way. You can see, actually see that through here too. So it's, you know, it's just looking at it through it here. But it's solid beyond where I cut it out there. There's no, this has no surface rust beyond has no surface rust beyond so this is caused from the water leaking through this I believe but um this is my template by the way whoops 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 this is what I'm going to use for template and to form the metal you know it's all formed the way it should be so, and I got a piece of this from my dad's house to kind of work to uses a pattern. That's a valence for uh, between the bumper and the grill. I got to paint that silver. So I'm going to clean that out in there and get a piece of metal fit up in there. So I spent quite a while sanding that out and primed it with Rust-Oleum Rusty Metal Primer and I'm going to paint it with Rust-Oleum too but you can see the like a long pit like water must have been dripping in somewhere in a hole and then running I don't know I'm I'm guessing there too but why I'm repairing this hole I'm gonna repair all this over here too I'm just gonna repair this side in one shot and I'll go over and repair the other side so I'm gonna start cutting this out right now now you can see from past videos that I've talked about a bunch of panels joining right here together so this this is where this piece joins you know to the curve piece you can see the joint here and where Ford had used Bondo or something to seal the joints and uh, I mean they didn't even seal that right there so I don't know how important it is but I really think all this rot is from condensation coming up because none of that upper surface was painted so before I uh, finish the car I'm going to lay in the trunk and paint just sand it out the best I can and paint the whole upper part here as much as I can. And uh, I saved the cutout piece there. I'll make a template with that too. That's just pretty straight street sheet metal. This has a little bit of a curve and it increases as it goes along. 
But there we go, that's all cut out. I'm going to sand and try and clean that up the best I can and blow some Rust-Oleum on it too. That'll help in preventing future rust on that part. And then once I weld this in and finish painting the car, I'll get up in there and paint an undercoat. I can reach up in there from two places, from right here and from in the trunk. It's fairly somewhat easy access. I can e I, I know I can spray something up in there so I can protect it from future issues. I got that piece all fit. It's just taped in place, but I can, you know, kind of reach up in there and hold it so it all butts even. I just, like I say, it's just taped. And uh, I'm going to fit this piece, and then I'll weld them both up, and then we got that to tackle. I, this is actually moving along. You know, the body work is going to be the most time-consuming right in here because of the skirt. I want to get that all just right. I ended up finding another spot I didn't like the looks of, so I just cut it out, but um, I kind of just fit these pieces up and then just kind of get them until they butt just right. And that actually fits pretty darn good in there right now. I just... Perfect. All right, time to time to tack that one in or weld it in. This one's just a rough weld in. I got to finish grind. I haven't even cleaned the the stuff off of it yet. You know, it's still got slag and stuff. So I'll uh, scrape it and grind it out and put a coat of filler on it before the day's out. Hopefully, I got to grind out the weld. This is where that. I don't know if I'm repeating myself here again. I don't know what I did the last bit of video on, but. That's where that hinge, like where that surface rust spot, that's where the hinge is spot welded. So I cleaned the lead out of there and could see where it was welded and just ran my weld around there just to make sure there's no future rust there. I mean, if there is there, there probably would be here. So I corrected it now and I'm going to take my angle grinder there and clean all the uh, the welds up. It's all welded up, ground out, and ready for a coat of uh, mar glass. And I'm going to clean up the mess and then put a coat on it tonight so it can dry overnight. Maybe do a little sanding on it tomorrow too, along with fixing the rust on the other side. You can see kind of what I do to protect things from sparks from welding and grinding, especially grinding, that stuff would probably be all the way up to my toolbox that I not do that and give you an idea. Look at the dirt. Can you see the grinding line, all the stuff on the floor? Another fine day of body work. This is pretty much all ready. It's roughed in with mar glass. I'll give that a uh, sand tomorrow and uh, Maybe a second coat because it's just kind of roughed in, and then I'll uh, auto body filler and prime them, and you know, I'll be done. So. All right, I'm going to call it a day. If you like the video, hit the like button. It certainly will help pay for a new convertible top by getting more views. And if you like my channel, please subscribe. And thank you for watching.